friends, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are talking about the best luxury beauty of 2022. I am going to do a get ready with me tutorial, shop my stash with the items that are part of my best of series. I will link that video down below. I did a whole end of year wrap up, roundup of uh, my favorite products of the year. And there are lots of timestamps in that original video because it's like over an hour long. But anyway, that's a lot of blabbing. Let's go ahead and dive into today's tutorial. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. I'm going to recreate the look that I did in the original video where I talked about the best products of the year and I'm going to recreate it to the best of my knowledge. And yeah, I also wore this look over the weekend to a party, so I thought I would share it with you. But first, let's go into this lip oil from Dior. This is the Lip Glow Oil in the shade Mahogany, 020 Mahogany. Now, the Lip Glow Oil does not have a tingling minty plumping sensation it's just an oil and they have different shades i love mahogany it's like a deep brownie nude and it's just so nourishing it just feels so nice on the lips if you have dry lips or if you just simply live in harsh climate i would really encourage getting the lip glow oils this is what it looks like it's going to be this type of mahogany but it's not going to be as dark so don't be scared off by the shade i really recommend it but to be honest i have multiple shades from the lip glow oil category and i think they're all great so to start off with the eyes i have two eyeshadow singles here that i'm going to use and they're both from sisley the first one here is matte coco number 21 and then we have matte taupe number 15. so these are going to give like a nice very effortless chic french smoky look i'll give you a little swatch here this is matte coco and this is matte taupe i think both of these work really nicely together i think i did purchase these at the same time or shortly thereafter this one here is a bit darker and i love taupe because it is just that perfect taupe that has a bit of cool to it so it's just really pretty and very the, the, they work really wonderfully together. Also, the brushes that I'm using, I'm going to use as little or as few brushes as possible just to show you how easy this is. This is the BK Beauty 203, and I'm just going to uh, load this up. Actually, no, I made a mistake. I'm going to go into the other one first, Matte Taupe. I'm going into Matte Taupe with a blending brush. This is the 202. There we go. A nice blending brush. This is the taupe color, the lighter color. We're just going to place this in the crease. You can be pretty generous with it. It doesn't have to be very precise. I'm putting some on the lid as well and just sort of blurring and blending it all over here. And I'm just taking a little bit on the bottom lashes as well. And now we can go into Matte Coco and the 203 brush from BK Beauty. You know, some, sometimes life happens and you just get a little bit too excited. So this one here is just going more on the lid here. And the reason I'm using this shape brush here is because you can use it to pack color on like this, but then you can also go in the crease and blend it out just a little bit higher just to make it dark. It's a very easy look. It really doesn't require that much effort, that much time, which is nice, but it always looks really nice. I think it looks really chic. I think a smoky eye for a dinner party or a night out or a date, I think just always looks great because if you're eating something, your lipstick might wear off, but then if you still have makeup like a smoky eye on your eyes it's not going away then using that big fluffy brush from before just going to blend these two colors together and then i will go into a pencil brush this is the 204 and i'm just going into both colors and i'm just going to smudge this on the bottom lashes here i'm also going to go into a bit of liner which will 
act as liner slash shadow. But I'm going back into both of the colors. Then for the liner, I'm going into my Chanel Stylosieux. This is a black waterproof liner. I'm going to go in the top waterline, draw a thin line on top, a thin line on the bottom in the like under the bottom lashes, but I'm also going to go in the bottom waterline because this is a smoky eye look, so it can look dark. I really love Sicily eyeshadow singles. I don't even think they make eyeshadow palettes, and I kind of love that. You know, for me, Sicily is like a very elegant, simple, like French luxury brand. And I love that they make eyeshadow singles, so you can wear just one if you wanted to, or you can mix and match. But I just, I love that they have singles. And I have some of the more satiny ones, like I have the silky French blue, I have the sparkling topaz, which is also really nice. But these two here, they're both matte, and they're great for a smoky eye because they are matte. So even though it's a dark look, it's not going to look tacky. It's not going to look like too much. And then I'm just taking my brush from before and I'm just smudging out the liner into the shadow here. And I'm going to do the same thing on top as well, just to smudge, blur, and blend the top liner as well. Now for the mascara, I'm going into my Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara in black. This mascara is great if you want lashes that hit your eyebrows, literally. It is such an incredibly lengthening mascara. It really does a great job. And the wand is really nice and thin as well. So you can just do the bottom lashes very nicely and easily as well. I'm going into a little bit of primer. This is the NARS Radiance Primer. This does have an SPF in it and it has like a nice peachy glow to it. So it's just really pretty. I like it as a primer and sometimes I use it on like a no makeup makeup day if I just want to look really nice. So I wore this look to a dinner party over the weekend and it was a raclette party. I don't know if you've ever had raclette. Ooh, it's so good. If you like cheese fondue, you would like this dish. It's from Savoie in France and you basically have this like skillet, I guess, at the center of the table that you plug in and then you have like slices of cheese that get all melty and delicious and you put that on pickles and potatoes and you have it with charcuterie or charcuterie and it's just, it's great. We went to a friend's house and this these friends have a dog named Miles and Miles is still a puppy so he's still like in puppy mode in like puppy phase and we were having dinner and we finished dinner and at some point he just decided to pee on the carpet like puppies are equal parts cute and trouble but anyway he's incredibly cute i'm going into my chanel Le beige complexion touch in 40 or b40 this one here is like the water fresh tint like the original but it has three times the amount of coverage this is just like an instagram filter in a complexion product it just smooths everything out, it blurs, it's incredibly lightweight as well. It's really like your skin but better in a just extremely natural way. So I'm just going to apply this just to give like a nice even finish. And so anyway, I tried to take some photos with Miles. Um, he is like a puppy slash squirmy creature. So anyway, here are a series of photos of me trying to take one nice photo with my nephew. But anyway, as soon as I took him into my arms, he started licking my face like I was the charcuterie plate or something. I don't know. Maybe I think we took this. I don't know if it was after dinner or before dinner. Maybe it was after. Maybe he just looked at my face and saw salami or something. But anyway, he wouldn't stop licking me and I was trying to like get him away. Anyway, he, he's very cute at least. Then for the concealer, I'm going into my Chanel Sublimage Concealer. This came out well, in 2022, but at the end. I love this concealer. I talk about it a lot, but it's really great. I know it's very pricey, it is, but in my opinion, I do think it's worth it because you do just need like a tiny, tiny bit. With um, a smoky eye like this, you may want to add a little bit more concealer just because we are going with a dark shadow and you don't want the rest of your eye to look dark. Just be mindful of that, but that's 
more than enough that I need for my look today. Please let me know if you'd like to see more get ready with me videos based off of my best favorites, best products of 2022, because I have a lot and a lot from different categories. So let me know if you want to see more of these. I think a lot of you said yes in the last video that I did. Um, and let me know if there are certain products in particular or certain looks in particular, or if it's just like, do whatever you want, just more best of type of looks. Sound off in the comments. I'm also thinking I will do a best of skincare video, just my favorite skincare products of last year, the ones that I repurchased the most, that type of thing. I'm just going back under the bottom lashes here with that little smudging brush, pencil brush from before, just making sure the concealer didn't erase any of this. And then I'm also going to go back into my mascara and add just a tiny bit under the bottom lashes here. I'm going to add a bit of setting powder. This is the Chanel Universal Loose Powder, but I use the shade 30. They do have a translucent shade, but I like to use the 30. I think 30 for me is nice. I go between a 30 and a 40 for foundation shade, but I feel like a powder, especially if I bring it under the eyes, I want it to be a bit lighter. And what I do is I just use the puff that comes with, so you can be extra like this, just knock off some of the product, just press. I do think that it is a nice powder because it's soft. It also has like a nice blurring effect. It's not drying either, which is nice because like, it's Montreal in winter, so I don't need anything too mattifying at the moment, but it just gives like a nice blur. And because my makeup look is going to be more matte, I'm not going to add highlighter. I think the primer that I used gives like a nice glow, but I don't need like a, a wet look on my cheek. I'm gonna go for more of a monochromatic matte look. I don't know if monochromatic is the right term to use, but it's going to be matte all around. For the blush, I'm going into my Laura Mercier Chai. This is in the Your Cheek But Better category. It's just really lovely. So it, it kind of looks like a blush, but it's not too pink. Yeah, it's really just like your cheek, but a little bit better. So I think that's going to be nice because the makeup is going to be nice and dramatic. I just took off the excess of the lip oil. So my lips feel nice and nourished, but I wanted to get rid of that slick look. And I'm going into one of my Guerlain cases. Ugh, I love this case here. And I have to say that their matte bullet lipstick formula is one of the nicest matte lipsticks I've ever tried. It's very, very comfortable and incredibly long wearing. This is the shade 910. This is the swatch here. And yeah, like it's just remarkably long wearing and comfortable. Like you can wear this for several hours. You can eat and drink with this. It's not going to rub off, so you don't have to worry about that during a dinner party. But I just think that their like their bullet lipsticks are underrated. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this here. I know it's a bit of a dramatic look with the uh, smoky eye, but you know what? I don't care. And then for the perfume, I got this Kaoli perfume discovery set for Christmas. Thanks, husband. And I'm gonna wear the one that I wore over the weekend and this is vanilla 28 it smells so good so this is what the outside of the box looks like and then inside you can have like a discovery set of all the perfumes vanilla 28 smells uh like vanilla it smells exactly like the name would suggest vanilla i love vanilla scents i love gourmand perfumes i want to smell delicious i want to smell like a vanilla cupcake i want to smell like a dessert this smells like vanilla like tonka bean it has amber, it has musk, but it, it's just, it's so sweet and I think it's gorgeous for winter. I like these heavy fragrances, these very sweet ones, and I think for winter it just, it works really nicely. So this is the finished look. We completed our look with a bit of perfume. It's always a nice final touch. And yeah, this is one of the looks for the best of series. I like this because it's simple. The eyeshadow look, 
it's two eyeshadows it's a couple of brushes it looks a lot nicer than the effort you put in like you don't really have to put that much effort it looks great i think keeping the complexion really simple just you could skip the primer if you wanted to just even out your base a little bit a little bit of blush because we have a dramatic eye and a dramatic lip so don't go heavy with the bronzer and the highlighter just balance you know you don't always need everything you just need to find the right balance and i think this works nicely for this look here if you're not aware i have an online beauty consulting service this is a one-on-one -on -one video chat with me where you get to pick my brain and ask me all the burning beauty questions you have maybe you want to buy some new makeup or you want a fresh set of eyes on your existing collection you get to meet with me and do the service from the comfort of your own home through Zoom. So to make an appointment for yourself, go ahead and click the link down below. All right, I think that is it for today's video. As always, sound off in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have your notification bell set to on because YouTube likes to unsubscribe people from my channel, which I think is very rude. Here I am working hard, making some nice PG-13 content for you guys here and YouTube is like, how about we unsubscribe people? So double, triple, quadruple check that you're still subscribed just in case. And that is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.